Hard to see on camera, but those lights are glowing just a bit. Are you a master of the arts of precision and timing? Will you be rewarded with a spooky treasure or a delightful fright? <laughs> Remember, players, fortune favors the bold. <laughs> other side we do have some inflatables in the front some skeletons back here I think they're supposed to have more animatronics on this side but they don't yet and it is the middle of September as of me recording this so you think if they were gonna have something here they'd have it out now buy one get one free looks like what is this all hanging decor I don't know if it's all hanging decor, or maybe it's just this section. It's probably just this section. A lot of generic characters, clowns, zombies, stuff like that. And then here we have some more inflatables in the boxes. Uh, if we go down here, it looks like some of these are very old and on clearance. So 70 bucks for a 12 foot pumpkin. And then we have a nine foot Jack Skellington. Uh, you have a $200 price tag up here. It says it was $216. This says $108. So I don't know how much this costs. I assume it's $108. But you can see uh, the front of the box looks like it's sun bleached a bit. <laughs> so I can imagine this has probably been sitting in here. Or just old stock that they keep putting back on the shelf. Three, four, five years old at this point. And then, yeah. Some lights over here. Uh, Jabber and Jack, I actually do have one of these. Uh, I got it at a thrift store for, I think it was five bucks maybe? It was missing the stem, but you know, it does fully work. This was 65 at one point, also on sale. And then we have these uh, jack-o'-lantern musical lights that Jummy produced. I think this model's a little older, and you can tell because if you look, has an orange button. So the new models for 2024 have a, a black button. And then this one doesn't work. So these have probably been here for, again, another good three or four years. From my laboratory in the castle east to the monster bedroom where the vampires feast, the ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt from my electrodes. Let's see what else do we got. It goes all the way to the ceiling. Got a little hanging reaper guy up there. Got a couple hanging guys up here, actually. I didn't notice that. And then, yeah, more lights. Uh, I think that's a, a step pad. 
Yeah, 10 bucks. I guess that's a decent price. I do like the ones that Spirit Halloween has, though. The ones that, uh, what is it, you control via remote. Those are cool. More hanging decor. I can't really tell if they have a theme going on. This says Creepy Carnival right there. This is just a couple of the, or more so a few, quite a bit, actually, of the exact same clown. Uh, some wall decor, specifically these are stickers. I guess they're for the window, mostly. And then down here, we do have a, a Michael Myers uh, candy bowl. I think this is from 2022. Again, a lot of old stock that Spirit Halloween carries over every year. So this one, uh, I think it's $13 now, which is actually not too bad. It was 27, that's kind of much, but this doesn't work. And also the knife is, I could pull that out probably if I try hard enough. So this has been yeah, sitting here for God knows how long and the batteries are shot, so it's probably not gonna get bought. Probably. Let's see, what else do we got on my left? Uh, these are a lot of rubber props, I think. Either rubber or plastic, I can't really tell. Uh, you know, this is rubber. Okay, so we got spiders, scorpions, snakes, pretty much any in insect known to man. And then we have some skeletons over here. Pretty much every Halloween store has skeletons. Let's keep walking forward. More static props. These are all just things that hang. A lot of zombie stuff over here specifically. You got dog toys, Halloween dog toys. Those are cool. This looks like a like more outdoor stuff. Uh, I can't tell. Is this like a goth section? Lots of spider web looking things. Uh, some roses. We can go all the way to the back of the store. Fog machines. Whole section of just fog machines. Got another candy bowl. This is significantly smaller than the Michael Myers one. See, this is cool, but this is just way too small for a candy bowl. Can't fit a lot in there. Maybe it's a secondary bowl. And then, yeah, in the back here, I think it's just costumes, this whole back section. Yeah, this is pretty much just costumes. Tons of skeletons near the ceiling. This is the most goofy Spider-Man costume I've ever seen. <laughs> and then we have a lot of iconic characters. These are all costumes. So you have, uh, you got, I don't know, is there Jason here? I've not seen him. But everyone but Jason, so Pennywise, Freddy, uh, Terrifier, I've been seeing a lot of as of late. So, uh, both Party City and Spirit Halloween have new props. We already saw the one from Spirit Halloween. They don't have the Party City one set up here, at least not as of yet. Chucky, Megan, I actually like that movie. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So that's Leatherface, I think his name is. Got Sam up there. Ah, oh, there he is. There's Jason. Yeah, I figured they'd have him. Pretty much any iconic characters they have back here. And then here we have, uh, looks like a little Nightmare Before Christmas section. You have Jack, Sally. I think these are the Oogie Boogie kids. I forgot their name. Actually, wait, no, I didn't. Lock, Shock, and Barrel, I think is what their names are. And then, yeah, more old uh, stock over here. So these are the projection Jack Skellington lights. There are you who deny it. What I do, I am... Let me see the year on these, because I know these are also old. But Jemmy is still producing them. Yeah, 2022. Okay. And then we have uh, Door Knocker. Uh, 21 bucks is actually a really good deal for this. So this was 43 The problem with these is a lot of them are defective. So the jaw often locks up on these. And I'm not even seeing a, a button on here, actually. Hold on a sec. Okay, so this one's missing the button, so I'm just gonna 
put this there for a second. I want to see if I can demonstrate this. All right, this one works. Yeah, so he's got a trummy button right here. Uh, this one's face has got some permanent scuffs on it, it looks like. But this one still works. And yeah, same thing with the projection life. These are a couple years old now. But yeah, 21 bucks is actually a really good deal. If it were me, I'd put a piece of foam right here because the mouth does click a little bit and the speaker, at least on this one, is pretty quiet. Uh, this one might work, but I don't see a try me button on here. Then I do see a wire though, so maybe it's, I don't know, I'm not seeing it. So I'll just put that back. Uh, oh, does this do anything? This looks like it's Harry Potter. Okay, it lights up. And then we have a, oh my God, that is scary. <laughs> so this is a three and a half foot Dobby. I can imagine it's life size because little goblin booger can't be any bigger than that. But holy shit, is he that scary in the movie? <laughs> that is terrifying. More wall decor. If we make a right here, it's probably just costumes. Yeah. More skeletons. Then we have just some more uh, decor over here. That'll pretty much cover it for Party City 2024. Like I said, I don't think they're fully stocked yet. I expected a bit more life-size props. The ones that they have here, uh, either they're broken or, I don't know, <laughs> very underwhelming. Although, Party City does tend to be a mixed bag. Sometimes it's cool, other times it's, it's not. And by the way, I just looked up now. I didn't realize they got to have at least 100 of these Jack Skellington lights. They're just all over the ceiling. Just boxes and boxes of them and I can see some more cardboard boxes behind those so maybe those are loaded with them oh my god so I'm gonna go on a limb and say those will never sell I don't know that's interesting I have no idea why they have so many of them